let me tell you guys a story about how I got this shirt. Now, it seems uh, irrelevant right now, but believe me, this has to tie with Renaday because on one Renaday in 2011, before I even started making videos and celebrating this whole entire little shilly tradition, I went to a show with Hate Eternal at the top of the bill, Origin, Abysmal Dawn, and a local Canadian band, Disgust. Now, that night was amazing. It was crazy. There was a circle pit around the bar, which was fixated in the center of the center of the room, or right by the stage. It was nuts. But it got me thinking. Are there any anime-influenced metal bands? I'm not talking about bands that have songs that feature in anime, like Fear and Loathing Las Vegas, Maximum the Hormone, or Galdorus. I'm talking about outside of that circle. The independent artists. Has anime really impacted or inspired anyone to create an entire genre dedicated to this niche market? And I've come today to say yes. Unfortunately, there's not too many of them because of it's such a niche market. It's hard to even market that kind of stuff. So most of this is actually people just doing it just for fun. Some serious bands are in here too, but to a degree, it's what you expect. A lot of it based on of, of guru hentai. It's pretty nasty as shit. I mean, I can't even show half the album art of these bands on this channel in fear of actually getting banned. So, I'm just gonna limit to some of their album arts. I'm trying to censor them as much as I can, but we will take it off from there. But to start off the list, I have to talk about the band that single handedly brought this to my mind when I was. Going to that show, I recently discovered them in high school. The band Jigai. Jigai is a gore-grind band out of the Czech Republic, heavily influenced by the Japanese culture, even going as far as naming the band as a traditional method of ritual suicide among women in Japan. The band pulls no stops in the gruesome imagery, opting for guru artwork on their demo on their first two full-length releases, titled Jigai and Katana Orgy. Most of their song titles and lyrics are based off the said guru artwork, which leads to song titles like Ninja Gangbang and Japanese Gut Cake, and some of those are the tame ones. As far as their sound goes, it's pretty typical gore grind, balancing complete chaos and groove, but their vocals are on a whole nother level. Listen to their albums and watch any live video of their performances, and they're just as powerful recorded on a camera microphone as they are in a professional acoustic environment. Check these guys out. Another band I would say in the same vein of Jigai is Gozen. Gozen is a Japanese band and they're directly inspired and influenced by Jigai. Taking in from the same style of the guru artwork and the tongue-in-cheek approach to their song and titles, these guys are the real deal, crafting their own sound while embodying their anime influences directly from its country of origin. Because of that, Gozen seems to have Jigai beat in that department. While similarities are there, Gozen's sound is still very much theirs. Everything from the crushing guitars to the howling growls, these guys need to produce more music. Unfortunately though, these guys are taking a break from the project from the moment, so only the future knows when these guys will get back to the party.
This project is unlike the bands I will mention on this list, since I don't know how to classify it in any one genre. The closest I can maybe think of is probably Grind, but there is a lot going on here. If the goal was to create the most abrasive tracks possible and smother them with anime samples and gurgle vocals, then I call it a success. Schoolgirl on Pond Thy Corpse is a solo project by one Juliet, and I cannot express how all out she goes into the production. Every track provides something different, whether it be guest vocals or a change up in song structure, all still bombarding you with heavy distorted guitar riffs and blast beats. It's not as melodic as some of the others I have on this list, but it stands on its own with its own identity. The band's first release, Gorgy, is one that opened several doors for me in terms of this very video, introducing me to a record label as well as some other batshit crazy band, Eno Kushidai. Oh boy, this one is something else. Instead of gore like Gozen and Jigai, this band goes for the porno grind angle, and every bit as insane as you think it would be. This two-man project led by one Alan Venduris and vocalist Testosterone Generator, I couldn't make that up if I tried, is another grind man with a twist of perversion only found in animated pornography. The band is extremely over the top with everything from their artwork, which I cannot show on YouTube in fear of being flagged, there are song titles which leave me in stitches when I read them. Some of the more outrageous track titles are Ava 1 gives a blowjob to Optimus Prime, The Prime Minister doesn't like anime but sure adores the taste of cum, Godzilla masturbates with Terminator, and Rainbow Dash has French all equestrian ponies for oatmeal cookies. The sound is very reminiscent of cock and ball torture. Another porno grind band which is known for their groovy riffs and pitch shifted vocals. Inokusai is very much in the same vein as those types of bands, but their sense of humor and artwork may be a turn off to some. Humanizing Etrian Warship. I would be remiss if I didn't include these guys on the list. These guys are fairly new and they've been making waves in the slam scene. They took covers of Love Live and turned them into slamming brutal death metal and it sounds amazing. I got the CD and flag it with their album art and it's pretty fucking awesome. The man has slated to release a split with Cheerleader Concubine, but due to some behind the scenes issues, the band has stayed silent and the specifics of the split may not even see the light of day. Speaking of cheerleader concubine, this band is something else. It's another band that has elements of grind and slam, but they have a wicked sense of humor. I recently discovered this band once the split of Dehumanizing Entry and Warship was announced, and I instantly knew that I had to listen to this band. Another band that takes inspiration from Hentai and Guru, this band like Inokusai is very tongue in cheek. A lot of their tracks of their albums reflect this, especially off their full length album, Tentacle Induced Intestinal Displacement. I mean, it opens up a pretty, a pretty decent rap track, then it goes to slams out of left field. It's pretty hilarious how they do stuff like that. Their use of samples has to be noted as well, because I was listening to this car while driving, and I was caught off guard by the Nyaner's Pomp Pomp sample. Thank God I wasn't moving out of the parking lot because I was laughing so hard I had to settle myself down before I move on any further. These guys know how silly and over the top the sound can be juxtaposing death metal with anime samples and they take full advantage of it. I really do hope to hear that split they had planned with dehumanizing, 
because if it's anything like this album, it's bound to be awesome. Hayashi Kagura. I couldn't find too much about this band that remained consistent, but I feel it should be on this list because it's a great band with a unique sound that takes from traditional Japanese music. Some sites they say they've broken up, but their official Twitter is still active, and the guy who's running it is prepping something for Winter Comic Head, so your guess is good as mine. If it's another release, I'll keep my eyes peeled because these tracks are some top tier shit. Agent Zero, a Toho cover band done as heavy as possible. This is exactly what Dehumanizing Etrian Warship did for Love Life. These guys are still active as far as I can tell and they keep getting better as with each release. Not much of their music is available online since they tend to release their music at Comic Head, but if you can track it down, boy it's worth the listen. <laughs> And finally, I have to bring up the record label that I discovered from listenings to Schoolgirl Upon Thy Corpse, and that's Toxic Lolly Records. This underground record label prides itself on marketing the anime-influenced projects, no matter how depraved or insane it may be. I was able to get Schoolgirl Upon Thy Corpse CD from them, and they've consistently been posting new bands I would have not known about since they exist within the depths of Bandcamp. But I'll keep an eye on this label if any bands I mentioned pique your fancy. These guys find new bands and post about them on their Facebook page, so check them out. You might find something you like. And with that, we wrap up Rena Day 2017, and boy, it's been a trip these past 24 hours. Doing seven videos in 24 hours is an incredibly daunting task, one that I'll probably try again just so I can meet the deadline this time. I know some of these videos won't be up on time, and I might get a bit of flack for that, but the intention was fully still there to put this out on Rena Day. And the time is right now, as I'm looking at the clock, is 11.58. So, with that said, Rena Day is almost over. <laughs> and I doubt all these videos will be up on time. They'll probably be up the day after, around the morning, but uh, some of them are already uploaded. But uh, I have to tweak some of them, so most of them will come out on the 8th, which is unfortunate. But um, let this be a lesson to myself, that if I want to get something done, I need to do it on time and expect more deadlines. And I also want to know what you guys thought of what I did today. Today was a very weird day. I put out 7 videos. I doubt you guys are all going to see them all at once. It's at least maybe like an hour and a half's worth of content I managed to pump out. I decided to take some shortcuts regarding my recorder here. I'm not using my recorder, I'm using my camera mic. The microphone that you see my set, I'm not even using right now because of said shortcuts and because I had to meet the deadline. But 
knowing that it's all for naught, let the, I'll let this be a learning experience. So with that said, Renegade comes to a close. I hope you enjoyed the stream of content that I had planned for 7 7 20 7 7 17. Oh, God, I'm so done. I'm absolutely, like, trashed right now. Just on bare exhaustion. I have work tomorrow, too. So, yeah, fuck me, right? <laughs> but, yeah. I'm the Gorehound, signing out, and the next time you'll see me, it'll be with ReZero. Catch you on the flip side.